Okay, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Your Girl. Okay, what's today? It's Sunday, but I'm dropping this video tomorrow, which is Monday. Okay, and today, what we are making is mm, good old squash spaghetti. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I ain't never made squash spaghetti in my life, but I have had it. And when I ate it, it was so good. I'm like, what is this? they like, it's squash. Like, it's like little baby noodles. So we're going to experience this together like we usually do. I've been trying some new recipes. And y'all know, instead of noodles, I like to use like zucchini noodles. So I'm going to try these, like actually making them myself, which almost anything I make is fire. Just put a little razzle dazzle on it. And there you go. <laughs> You get the sunshine games okay let me show you what these games can do 1-800 games period games will get you these this is what you know lowering your carbs and trying to eat right will do for you okay little booties better okay give us credit when it's due fit chicks okay i see y'all you ain't even gotta be fit you can be thick you can be full you can be whatever you want you know whatever makes you happy as long as you happy i'm happy if i'm happy you happy if you laughing i'm laughing we laughing okay so bam first things first y'all rinse the squash okay and you know why i think this recipe is fire because it's like we're making everything like you can make this either vegan or make it like with meat you know i've had it with like chicken sausage or spaghetti or turkey meat anyways all you do is like it's like five ingredients it probably take you a good hour because you gotta let this thing bake but other than that it's you gucci okay okay so what i'm gonna do bring this closer closer just so y'all can see let me cut it uh-huh Mm. Okay, get your Edward scissor hands on. I'm gonna cut this baby. I hope it's not hard to cut. It look like it. Oh. Okay. this part because this is taking me a good 10 minutes i'm just lying baby two okay i'm scared y'all okay oh shit mm. Woo -wee. this is definitely right right I figured it out, y'all. Just bang it on the counter a couple times, and you gonna get through. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost cracked all the way through like a little. Look at that, y'all. I'm seeing all my muscles popping out. This will wake me up, shit. It looks like a pumpkin inside. So what we gonna do is we gonna clean it all out. I'm gonna eat that. All right. And see how it looks spaghetti? So when you bake it, after you bake it, you gonna make it all like, woo. It'd be dope if you surprised your girl to a home cooked meal, like uh, just because, Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what's going on. 
We're gonna put my squash in here. All right. You know what? There we go. So what we're gonna do is put it in this pan. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spray that up. So when it bakes, you know, it get like to the oil. You know me, I like seasoning. You know, like in any season, I would garlic my noodles, you know, oodle and noodle. So garlic that up. Y'all know my favorite. Y'all see all this squash I ain't got all over the counter? Oh. Comes to me. All right. So, bam, I already got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Let's do a video. Wash okay. is going in. All right. Here, baby, go. All right. She is in there, y'all. And she going to be for us real soon. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So um we might as well get right into this next step. So this next step, hold on. So what you gonna do? I like fresh tomato sauce. This is gonna be all like literally from scratch. Tomato paste, tomato sauce, whatever you call it, okay? Whatever you want to call it. I just want you to make everything fresh. If you want to have a healthy lifestyle. Just invest in taking the time to make stuff from scratch. And you know, these recipes I'll be giving y'all, they dang near all like 20 minute recipes. Like, I don't be trying to give nothing too hard. And plus, I ain't a person that's about to be in the kitchen cooking for hours. Like, the only time you gonna catch me in the kitchen cooking for hours is if this is Christmas and um, Thanksgiving. Maybe Easter. But you know, like Christmas, we be making jambalaya now. We just keep it real simple. Everybody get some jambalaya, get you some cornbread, or get you some garlic bread and a little bit of dessert. That's all you need, you know? Kumbaya. Give me a little eggnog with some uh, henno tea or something in it, you know? Lighten up my mood. <laughs> nah, but y'all. But anyway, you see what I'm doing here? I'm cutting the garlic. Cut the garlic and I'm taking off the skin. Yep. So I'm gonna just cut up three of these little babies. Right? You cut these up. You get these um get these nice and fine and ready. Garlic's good for you too. It's like it cleans out all the things and it keeps vampires away. Y'all know it's about to be Halloween and the vampires is out. But if you eat garlic, they gonna stay real, real far away. So I'm actually putting y'all on game to keep these creatures away. The creatures of the critter. And you know, we gonna make some Halloween stuff. I say we go ahead and make some Halloween cookies or make something real good, you know, real good, tasty. Something, you know, you can make your lady. Or ladies, you can make your man. You gotta tell me what y'all want. Like, tell me what's the recipe you always wanted to try and make. And you like, I just need to just just do it for me one time. So you know, you know, like you have a professional chef cook on your hands that's asking y'all, what do y'all want me to make for y'all? All you gotta do is tell me what y'all want. I can you with a catwalk, cat, cat, and bring it, bring it back okay and make you a meal all at the same time you know you get like you get like the best of every world so with that being said go in the comments and let me know what y'all want me to make next oh all right so we almost done with this so this is like one of my secret ingredients garlic i like garlic a lot I use it more than I think about using it. In my mind, I use it. But really, I just be using garlic salt. But today, we don't actually use like a whole garlic. A garlic clove is what they call it, okay? So we gonna clove this right on up, baby. Right on up. Clove it up. And then just chop these up. Hold on. Sometimes. This is how they be cutting it on the movies. On the TV shows. 
feel like I'm in that little, what's that little show? So you think you can cook? They put me on there. I'm like, give me all the ingredients. They be giving them little kids crazy stuff. I used to really watch that show faithfully with the little kids chefs. I just be like, damn, these little kids cook better than me. How she only eight? And she cooking all of that. That's when I knew I had to do better. That's when I knew, y'all. All right, I know y'all don't want to look at me talk, talk and cook and whatever. You feel me? So we going to get right into it, y'all. Right into it. So y'all know what the next step is, okay? Okay, so first steps first. First things first. Y'all see I got a thousand ingredients right there. Mm-hmm. Um, we got our pan going. Okay, I set my timer for my, uh, what's it called? My squashity, squishity squash. So it's going. Um, first step is you're going to start cooking your garlic. So the purpose of doing all of this right now, so as soon as your, your squash come out, you just shred that baby on up, put your tomato sauce on there, your, not tomato sauce, your tomato, whatever you call it, you know what it is. You put your spaghetti sauce in there, swirl it up, and then dinner's made, so you basically, while that's cooking, you getting a whole meal done in like 30 minutes, okay? Woo, pretty good. All right, not good to have water on here, but I do, so it is what it is. Get that in there. Everybody loves some fresh garlic, and if you don't, you're missing out. All right. The next step here, the next step after this garlic is um, fresh organic tomatoes, okay? And this is the garlic clove I used, okay? Bam, bam, and bam. Okay, these are late night recipes. Y'all know it's like one in the morning right now, but I'm awake. I'm awake and I'm ready. And I'm ready. I'm gonna put a little extra seasoning in my garlic. Little garlic seasoning in the garlic, you know? You know, it's never enough too much flavor, you know? No such thing. And that has a little bit of extra salt. You got to put a little salt in there. You know? Mm, that smells so good. I wish I could smell it. If you could smell this through the phone, how that you could... Oh. Alright, I could smell it. And I love the smell of fresh garlic. Alright, y'all. So I'm basically about to put some tomatoes in there. The person I saw, you know, just... We could just, you know... Basically put these babies in whole. Cause they gonna start melting and breaking down. Mm -hmm. You just need to put enough in there. Let's get enough going. So that they ready. Okay. All right, I rinsed off enough. Y'all know, when I was little, I used to just eat tomatoes straight up. Like, I still like tomatoes. I just, mm-hmm. They good tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I would cut up tomatoes and put, like, seasoning salt on them or salt or I'll put sugar. And I have a whole plate of them and I just eat them. <laughs> That's funny, right? Anybody else like that type of stuff? No. Y'all yeah. gotta have a favorite fruit or vegetable y'all like to make. You see that? You see that? You see that, baby? Okay. Okay, okay. Like, mm, it smells so good. My whole house about to smell like garlic. Okay. But it's okay, okay. Alright, so we get this cooking. Got this cooking, y'all. About to get ready for these tomatoes. You want this to get a little bit of brown crunchiness, you know? Man, I mean to show y'all that mess over there. Put a little more, a little more sauce, like fried up. That's how you get the flavors. Uh, fry, fry baby up. I need to get the 
brownness I wanted, you know? And drop them in. And that's it. They'll start to saute. And um, the rest is history. Okay, y'all? So this is pretty much it. I'm about to come back to y'all when this is done because Mm-hmm. But that's only gonna take a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I think I'm gonna do, maybe cut up three or four of these. Yeah. I think so. It just, you know, get a little juices going in there and help. A little chicken broth. Maybe I need to put a little water in there. Uh -huh. Definitely think I was supposed to cut those in half. It makes a big difference. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if y'all want some meat with y'all stuff, you can buy you some ground turkey. You know, chop that up, put that in there. I was supposed to do this first, but I'm doing it. You, know. you can have a couple whole tomatoes, cut some tomatoes. I suggest you cut some tomatoes in half. Now that I have made my first ever fresh pasta from scratch, I watched a video. And just like everybody else, trying to learn how to do something from fresh. All right, y'all, I'm about to show y'all what we got here. It's still looking tasty, looking scrumptious, scrumptious, oh, you know, you know, mommy, you know, okay, oh, you know, this is how I feel, mmm, so good, it smells so good, baby, you taste so good, baby, can't wait, all right, y'all, so I'm gonna come back, in a couple minutes and keep y'all updated and show y'all where we at with that. Um, yeah, this class has a ways to go, so maybe like 30 more minutes. Okay, so welcome. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. So my tomato sauce, and I'm gonna like let it boil. So, and get all the flavors, but I got all the flavors in. Okay, y'all, so I just took my squash out the oven, and it looks good. Look. Okay, that looks amazing, right? Now we about to shred this hole. Shred that hole. So, y'all can witness me shred that hole to smithereens. Okay. So, we gonna do one piece at a time. Oh, shit. That was hot. Alright, I'm gonna just. Alright, 300 degrees. Mm. 300 degrees. Alright, so we're gonna take all these noodles right here. I'm gonna have to zoom in on this. Alright. We're gonna do the rest of these noodles. Y'all see the noodles? That's spaghetti noodles, y'all. And I'm just assuming just keep scraping them out. Get them in there. All right. Oh, y'all didn't even get to see the ending of my sauce. Hold on. Did y'all see how the sauce came out? This shit came out fire. I just put a little water in there. You wouldn't think that one half of a squash would be so much. Damn, I didn't even put the other half in. I didn't even use the whole squash, y'all. Anyways, this is the grand finale. Okay, you all. All right, you all. Healthy making... So now we gonna put this all together. Basically the sauce and the spaghetti. You know, mix it in. 
tell people who y'all seen this first look at that don't that look like whole spaghetti mm, that shit about to be good y'all and you know what i'm gonna top this with i like some little cheese on my spaghetti so i'm gonna put some cheese on there okay we're gonna see how this tastes but <laughs> i'm definitely excited i'm definitely definitely look at that do y'all see this? And that's it. Okay, so let me tell y'all what I got my cheese melting. Mm. I just wanna show y'all another win for the winning team. And we the winning team, so make sure y'all know who y'all got this recipe from first, okay? You wouldn't even know this was the noodles. Mm. Mm -hmm. 